Hello there. Welcome back to Grits and Threads. Nope, we're not going to have a discussion about my absence. We're just going to dive right into why I'm here today, as I should be often, but you know, things occur. We'll just leave it at that. I hope everybody is well on this Sunday. I wanted to make this very impromptu video as an update as to what's going on. We've had previous conversations in my mask communication segments about, you know, things that I've endured, um, kind of like advice and things of that nature. So I'm just here to give you an update and talk about particularly, excuse me, the topic of uh, being grateful and satisfied or being ungrateful and dissatisfied. Those are two separate things. But I know in the last video that I did, not the last video, but I think the first video of the mass communications series, I was in my living room, did a very impromptu video. As you can see, there's a box behind me, um, you know, diaper boxes. My house is not in a disarray. It is currently packed up because as I mentioned before, I am currently going through an issue with my landlords and the owner of the building, which is an eviction. So with that being said, I have court tomorrow. I already know that I'm going to walk away victorious because this is no fault of mine. This is simply because I complain. I exercise the tenant right and the owner took it personally, which I know that you can't do in business. And so in him disrupting my life with these actions, I have to go to court and basically state why I know that I'm not in the wrong. But anyway, I know that all of this is happening for a reason. It's it's completely fine because when you are satisfied with where you are in faith and where you are in your confidence, then things like this are things like these are merely just hurdles. They're not blocks. You know, they're not blocks set to stop you. They are hurdles that you just have to get over. So I understand now this whole situation is completely a lesson, you know, of learning humility and to be grateful and to just understand that when these types of things happen, you have to take a step back, assess what's going on and just make a strong commitment to move forward. Today's mask communication segment, sans mask. Um, but I'm going to give you a tip, actually, a really good mask um, that helps with blackheads. It's quick, it's simple, and it involves egg whites and tissue. All you have to do is take an egg white, toss the egg yolk to the side, whisk two egg whites actually, whisk them until it's frothy. Get you some type of foundation brush, or you can simply use your fingers, put it on your face, get some tissue that's pliable, not that cheap tissue that's going to rip the minute any type of moisture hits it. Place it on your face and let it dry. Once you start to feel it tighten, just take the tissue off. You'll see that that will actually remove uh, whiteheads and blackheads. So that's a quick mass communication tip. So now on to the communication. We're going to talk about um, dissatisfaction versus ungratefulness. And a lot of times people tend to get those misconstrued. My current situation is one that I'm very dissatisfied with simply because of what's going on, what I'm having to do, which involves time. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was a little stressed. No, I'm not a little. I was very stressed. And I had to pray, and then I had to think, and then I had to pray, and then eventually I had to say, you know what, God, this is yours. This is out of my hands. This is completely up to you. What will be, will be. I had to completely release it to him, and I knew that me continuously thinking about it was not going to make the situation any better. I had to just prepare myself to defend what it is that I am stating is wrong and then just move on. And more importantly, my children, I don't want these feelings of stress or any negative energy coming off of me spilling onto them. That's important before I'm anything, before I am an employee, before I'm a renter, before I'm a friend, a sister, a daughter, I am a mom. My children are priority. So how I feel and what I do is very important when it comes to interacting with them. So me being dissatisfied, me being dissatisfied with this particular situation and other things just in living in this apartment, um, I knew that I had to do something about it. Now, when we talk about ungratefulness, I'm not 
ungrateful that I have a roof over my head. But I am not pleased <laughs> with this roof over my head for the simple fact that I feel like I'm not in a safe space. That's first. Second, this one bedroom apartment is meant for at best two people, not one person and two children. I would like for my children to be comfortable, not to say that they're not, but because of the fact that there's a lot of tension in this apartment and the energy is bad, I'm constantly burning sage and I, it's time to go. It's time to go. This apartment has served its purpose. Now, let me be honest in saying that prior to my revelation or epiphany, I will say that I was ungrateful, you know, and sometimes when things like this happen, they will snap you back into, wait a minute, now look at your situation. Okay, so you still ungrateful? Because now you're faced with having to find somewhere else to live. And the rent is probably not going to be as inexpensive as this rent is. However, I do know that it's not worth putting up with when you're dealing with somebody that you have to have contact with, like the manager, the on-site manager. She is very rude. She has no managerial etiquette. And there's a language barrier. So... We're always going to run into problems. You could be very dissatisfied with what you're going through or the position that you are in. It is up to you to change that situation. Nobody else. If your question is, why am I so unhappy? And then you immediately answer with, well, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing to make myself happy. Then you, my friend, have gotten an answer from God. And you already have the answer, which is one step closer to changing your situation. If you have no clue what to do, I advise you to use that energy that you're spending on maybe being depressed or sad about why you're in your situation. Applying that energy into changing your situation. Seek some type of help. You cannot be so egotistical to not want to have any help. Um... I'm pretty sure there's someone around. And if there's no one around, then maybe you should seek the help of somebody that you don't know. I've, I come across people all the time and in conversation, um, they just start talking to me. I see it as a gift, but I always, always, always try to use my past experiences to help people in some type of way. So again, with your, um, with the unsatisfied, is it unsatisfaction or dissatisfaction? Let me look this up. I'm not about to sit here and play around with words because as a writer, I should know this, but I get them confused. I don't, I know you can be unsatisfied. Yes, unsatisfaction, dissatisfaction. They're actually, they're both applicable. They're both applicable. We'll just roll with unsatisfaction. With your unsatisfaction, make a commitment to change that. Even if it's five days, excuse me, five minutes out of the day, sit down and say, what am I unsatisfied about? How can I fix this? If you want to lose weight, stop eating bullshit. Okay? Walk the stairs. Don't take the elevator. You like toast and butter and jelly? Don't add butter. Don't add jelly. Or don't add jelly and just have butter. If you have a friend that you are dissatisfied with their behavior, limit your contact with that friend or have an honest conversation with that friend. I'm not very pleased at how you X, Y, and Z and it affects me as friends and if you care about me, you will change this or you will alter it. People don't like the word change. It, it's almost like a pointing, like a finger pointing. You need to change this. Ungrateful. I have a roof over my head that I'm sick of living here. I want to move. I want to move. That was my situation. I want to move. I want to move. I want to move. I'm sick of living here. X, Y, and Z. This is just, I wasn't being grateful when I should have said, you know what? I'm not satisfied with my living arrangements. I'm going to work more towards moving so that I can be in a more comfortable space, which is what I did. 
but it was more of the negative chatter versus the positive action, if that makes sense. So those two things should not be misconstrued. There will be people when you are expressing your dissatisfaction that will quickly answer, well, don't be ungrateful. That's not what I'm saying. I love my body. I'm satisfied with having arms and fingers and toes and a head. Um, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to do things to change that versus I'm sick of my body. I wish I didn't look like this. Oh my gosh. If I could just have this waistline and that, or that's being ungrateful. When you are using words to demean yourself or not appreciate what it is that you have. So that's the difference between those two. So I said that I wasn't going to go through the whole process of setting up my camera and lighting. And when I feel the urge to come and talk to you, I'm going to come and talk to you impromptu. You see these brows, you see them, you see these gauchos, these mustaches that are wrapped on the head, braids, box in the back. It's not pretty because life isn't always about an immediate setup to make people think that it's all glitz and glamour. No, this is real. And me opening up to you about my situation is just another way of God using me to t talk to somebody if they're listening. You know, this is for me and this is for you. So that's basically um, what I just wanted to get across. Also, let's show you guys something. This book is called 25 to Life by a good friend of mine named Claudine Cooper. She's a mom and she's an author. She knows a lot of people. She knows what's going on, you know, and she gives great advice. But more importantly, she is an advocate of wellness. She is a fitness instructor at the Bay Club in Man, is it Manhattan Beach off of Rosecrans? And she's also an instructor at the 24 Hour Fitness on Slauson and La Cienega. I just finished this book and I have to say that a lot of her stories, um, she intertwined her experiences with health and wellness, which I thought was brilliant. A lot of her stories are very parallel to um, mine in growing up. And I just wanted to say if Claudine is watching or watches this video, thank you very much. I was very, very shocked to find out how much the experiences she'd gone through were very similar to mine. And I just, again, want to say thank you. And I would encourage you to pick this book up. It is uh, available to you on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box where you can go and purchase it. And again, Claudine... Thank you. Thank you for this message. Thank you for being so open and thank you for sharing your experiences um, so they can help guide people like me. We're all still learning and we're all still growing. So pick it up. 25 to Life by Claudine Cooper. Or if you have memberships to 24 Hour Fitness on Slauson and La Cienega, go take one of her classes if you want your ass whooped. Anyway, again, thank you guys so much for coming back. I just wanted to pop in and say hello and share this message with you. Um, in addition to this message, I would also ask for prayers as I would pray for you, the people who watch, because we all need that. I believe the message is when two or three stand and agree, dot, 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 two, three, four, five, six prayers can, you know, stir up a whole lot of positivity and it can be better than one prayer. I thank you guys for coming back. I thank you for watching. I hope that the message or the information that I've given you today will assist you in whatever kind of way you see it to be fit. And I hope that you will come back. I'm going to have some greater news for you the, the next time I come back. I know that I am. And these experiences that I go through, I'm going to continue to share them with you because we all need that help. And sometimes we all need that, you know, kind of viral shoulder to lean on. So I feel like that's what I'm here for. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. These brows, not safe. <laughs>